Hello, how y'all doing today? I am here and I want to talk to you about something very important. This is something that I am going to discuss only one time. So after today, please don't ask me any questions. Please, reporters, please don't DM me. Please, please, please. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I don't, I don't want to do this. I really, really, truly in my heart do not want to do this. But I don't have a choice. My sister is online saying that I'm lying. She did a video saying, oh, you know how she lied. Because I said the things that I said about Candy to protect her. She was calling me crying in the phone, talking about a book Jermaine wrote, crying, saying Candy said she broke up the group. So I went to defend my sister and I said a whole bunch of things about Candy. And I apologized. All right. So now she wants to hold that over my head and say that I'm lying about the money that was stolen from me, my royalties that were stolen from me. And she wanted an apology. So now I guess I'll just wait on my apology. Let me tell you something. She's not gonna get an apology. And after I finish revealing what I'm about to reveal, I don't want an apology from her because I'm not vain like that. I'm not vain. I don't need an apology. I just need you to go somewhere and repent and ask God to forgive you and your husband who's out here being trifling, lying on me and my other group members, sending threat text messages from an anonymous number, but then turn around and do a video and say the same thing that's in the threat text. Girl, you and your husband got to be the most simplest criminals in the world. How are you going to send me a threat text? Let me explain with the text. I will put it up here so you guys can see it. And, you know, I might even share the video where she's saying things that's in the text. So I got a threat text about me, Tiny, and Candy, all right? First of all, her husband says that I sent him naked pictures. And he says something about Tiny, and he says something about Candy that I'm not going to say, which are all lies. You see what the big the big news is, right? About you still, still in the $30,000? No, about... Now the news is uh, Tamika, my sister-in-law, was sending me naked pictures. Uh, Todd sucking a tranny's dick and Tiny in trouble. That, oh, that's about to be the biggest news today. So, you know, people, you know, that girl you got coming over there with security for what? Like, you, uh, damn, Tasha. Let, let me ask you this real quick. He's a devil. He's evil. A lot of stuff has happened over the years where I have protected my sister and her husband because I wanted a family. I didn't want to be an outcast. I didn't want them not to love me anymore. So I took a lot of things, not just off of them, but also off my mom. So I did not want to be out here without love. So of course I let things ride, but to have that thrown back in my face, my loyalty to my family, and for you to say that I'm a liar, when y'all are around here trying to extort me and you're sitting here threatening me, saying that I need to apologize and say I made a mistake, no, I didn't make no mistake. Miss Diane already explained to everybody that she signed all of us up for sound exchange. Well, I signed Escape, every one of them, up for sound exchange. And um, I, I sent all the paperwork. And, and Tamika, I, I, I did Latasha, everybody. And Tamika told me, when, she, when we filled out the paperwork, her she was living in New York then, mm -hmm. and and I still have the paperwork, and I filled it out and I put it. Her address was all in New York and everything. He, Tamika, my my Tamika had gotten her checks, and it was a pretty big check then. I'm thinking it was like close to twenty thousand dollars the first time. They got a lot of checks though, and Tamika said I didn't get my checks, and I said, well, you should have. I said because Tamika's gotten several checks already. And so we called up to Sound Exchange. Me and Tamika was on the line, and we talked to this guy's name was Joe Mo Grady. I think he's passed away, but back then he was the person we talked to. And he talked to Tamika, and she asked him questions about her checks. And he told her that her checks were going to Hampton, Georgia. And so after that, she said, "Well, I live in New York. How did this happen?" And he sent her copies of the checks. Mm -hmm. I mean, yep. yeah, so he, sent, I just, he sent copies. He said something about your sister and Rocky. 
Mm -hmm. uh, Edward Bivens, because I really didn't know Rocky's name. Right, he said Edward, Edward Bivens, Bivens cash your checks. But how was I supposed to get my money back? The only way you could get your money back is you had to prosecute them. And you said, I don't want to do that. Once we did do the investigation, well, they did. They sent information. Someone sent in, which was my sister. And I will be put, showing that in a second. She changed the contract and put um, her name on the contract saying that she was my manager. And I, you're going to see that in a second. And then they put my, uh, they sent my passport. It was a lot of I stuff. I know he said, you know, that they, that they had proof. They thought it was you and everything. And, but there's only reason that, that you couldn't get your money back is you would have to prosecute them. No one has a reason to lie. And you're going to see with the receipts. And yeah. if it wasn't for Miss Diane, none of us, me, Candy, my sister, Tiny, nobody would have gotten these checks from Sound Exchange. If it wasn't for you finding out about that royalty. Well, see, we, my husband with the Tams, I signed them up. And I, that's how I found out about it. And our business managers in New York told me about it. So that's kind of how I knew about Sound, Sound Exchange. Thank you for, for doing that because we've all... We're still getting checks today. That's good. <laughs> Get them checks. Yes. Love you. Thank you. I love you. Tasha still. I mean, I I love her. I mean, you know, I would never lie on none of y'all. I, I love y'all. I know. Y'all my babies. Somehow, my information was changed and sent to Sound Exchange. Now, when my sister was asked about Sound Exchange, she acted like she didn't know what I was talking about. So I'm not going to do too much, but I will clear my name. I will show you a few pieces of evidence that shows how they went in and they changed my address to their address. How they changed my email. Everything that Diane, Miss Diane did was changed by my sister, Latasha Scott. That will give you evidence. Now, the misconception is the 30000 it wasn't one check. It was multiple checks. It wasn't just one. So I was very nice. I was being very nice to say that only 30000 was told was stolen from me. I was very nice to say only 30000 was taken from me, stolen from me, rather. So you want your apology? How about I give them proof what you did? Just a little bit, not a lot. I'm not trying to bury you. You just need to stop being out here say, saying these false things, you and your husband, these threats and everything else. Mm -mm. It's not gonna work. Oh yeah, one of the threats were that my tape, I have a sex tape that I did. Yes, when I was in my 20s, I did a sex tape. So, you know, I didn't want to take it back to my house, so I gave the tape to my sister and told her to hold it. So, you know, I can watch it every now and then. You know, I just got to be honest with you. I was, I was looking good on the tape. But uh, anyway, I gave it to my sister, so I went back to get it. She said someone stole it out of her safe. So I said, okay, well, who got the safe code? Who got the code to your safe? She said only her and her husband. But somebody stole my tape. Now I'm about to be blackmailed by them. If I don't apologize, they're going to put the tape out. This is what the text says. So, you know what? You're not going to scare me. You got my tape, but you said you didn't have my tape. Now all of a sudden you want to extort me and put the tape out? <laughs> and you're doing a gospel album. Hmm. Let's talk about that. So, at the beginning of last year, my grandmother and my mom all were saying they wanted me and my sister to do a gospel album. So, the management at the time went and I sat down with her and she said that Motown Records offered me and my sister a, a gospel deal, right? So, my sister came up to my house March of last year, came up, spent the night, got snowed in, we were singing, we were cooking, having a good time. But it was a scratch in the record when I told her that we need to split everything down the middle. We need to write everything. We need to create everything together. And all of a sudden, she was she was outraged. She was like, well, this is what I do. I do music. I do music. You can do screenplays and you can write plays and movies, but I'm the singer in the family. So me and my husband was looking like, what just happened here? We're sitting here talking about a, a deal, a gospel deal for us. And she just went... 
bananas. I'm the singer. I'm this, I write, I do this. So in uh, between all that eyes, I was tired from cooking and cleaning. I fell asleep on her butt. But when I fell asleep, my husband said she kept talking. He walked out. She was just mad. So when she left my house, she never mentioned it again. And now she posted receipts on her thing saying that Rocky got us the deal. But if you look real, real close to the paperwork, like I did, I screenshot it and read it. It says, dear, whatever the guy name was, she was asking questions. She said, she said, uh, what was his name? The manager, Rocky, and I. So the and I was not Rocky. It was the lady who sat down with us and told us who she got us the deal. Our old management. <laughs> so how did Rocky get us the deal? I'm just so sick and tired of her praising him like he's God. It's like she want him to be this big. Okay, to be the stay focused. <laughs> stay focused. But he did not get us the deal. I'm sure he he was the one that talked her out of it, of both of them. Because it's how you steal my money and steal our gospel deal. Oh, and it gets, y'all, it gets better. Check this out. So I have people calling me, sending me. I'm in church. This is the crazy thing about it. I'm in church and I got a text. And somebody said, what's going on with this? So evidently, if you go on your cable network and you look up uh, a show, Underneath the show will tell you who the actors are or who the people are that's on the show. Someone has went and replaced my pictures with my sister. So not only did you steal money and our gospel album that we told grandmama that we were going to do, but now if you all go look, now me, my image is gone and is replaced with her pictures. Yeah, it's just a lot of cricket stuff that has happened. And it's some, something about Todd, he said in the text. But it's crazy because things that were in that threat text, when my sister did her interview on her bus, dogging everybody out, talking about candy, talking about I lied, certain things that were in that threatened text was in what she said. Wow. They mentioned a tattoo that only she knew about. They mentioned the sex tape that mysteriously disappeared. They mentioned pictures that was never sent to him when he cracked my door phone by saying he was my ex-husband. They are evil, evil people, but I'm not going to allow you to keep sitting out here and giving false narrative about me. I've, I've had your back. I was stupid. I did things and you throw it in my face and you want to do a video say, oh, you know how she is. I, 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 I owned up to that. When I was wrong, I apologize. This time, I'm not wrong. The evidence is here. I'm not talking about this anymore after this. Now the world knows that you are a liar that is doing a gospel album. <laughs> Thief. Stealing from the church. Stealing from your sister. Stealing my identity. But what you won't do is steal my pride. Go ahead. Leak the tape that you said you lost. Go ahead. Embarrass your niece. Go ahead. Because you really don't care nothing about them because you wouldn't never stole from them in the beginning. Go ahead. And watch what God does. God don't play about me. I don't hurt nobody. I don't do nothing. And the thing I did about candy, I was in my late 20s. We're almost 50 years old. And you still holding it over my head. But I'm glad that she forgave me. But I forgive you as I did before. Never meant to mention it. I was just pushed in a corner because you tried to destroy me in that first scene. But hey, it's life. And like you said, we're sisters, but not by choice. Words are powerful. And I'm starting to listen. It's a difference between hearing and listening. And I'm listening. Well, I love you. But what you won't do is make me look like a liar. Mm -mm. I've grown from my mistakes and I've learned and I'm not letting nobody put nothing over my head of my past. But you, ma'am, don't have to apologize to me. Go apologize to God and apologize to my nephew and apologize to my children. God bless you, girl. Repent. Because one day, 
We're going to see God, and we're going to have to give account for everything that we're doing. Oh, you're doing gospel. That's right. So you, you know this. And I hate this. This is so petty. It's so childish, but it's so necessary. Keep my name out your mouth. God bless you, sis. And world, I will give you an apology because this right here, it's so it's so dumb. This is probably like 10 minutes of your life that you can't get back because of some childish sister stuff that's going on by my sister and, and I. So I apologize to you for this mess. This is not the life that we're supposed to show. We're supposed to show a life of forgiveness, a life of love. God did not give us this platform for this. And I apologize for us misusing this platform. And I will not talk about this ever again. Pray for us. I love you. Thank you for your support. And again, to my fans, I apologize for this buffoonery that we've taken you through. It stops here. I have nothing else to say now. I've given you the proof. So now you know who's lying and who's not. Now, back to the real world. Back to who we are now. Back to us. So, we have, what, two more episodes left for this show? And I know y'all been rocking with me because I've been getting DMs. I've been getting good messages. I've been getting mean messages. But that just goes to show that y'all rocking with us. Thank you. Thank you for watching and giving us that support. You know, we're trying to figure things out. And I know people say, oh, y'all too old for that. But really? Is it a such thing as being too old? It means you can't make mistakes when you're older. We're trying to figure it out, y'all. And I know we're too talented for this buffoonery. We're too talented for this mess. Yes, we are. So we're getting ready to start bringing you some music. We're going to give you some music. If that's if y'all still want to rock with us. Because, huh? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's been a crazy roller coaster. Y'all didn't deserve this. All right? So we're going to get y'all some music. Make sure y'all come to the shows. It'll just be three of us. You can see me, Candy, and Tiny doing our thing on stage. You know, that wasn't by our choice. You know, it just... You know, things happen. But when you get lemons, you make lemonade. And that's what we had to do. We're going to continue to make lemonade. We're going to add a little strawberry and everything else to that. <laughs> All right, y'all. I don't talk to y'all enough. And I just had to share some things with y'all and let you know what's going on. But this blackmail and extortion and the lying and the stealing, <sighs> it's off me. A weight has been lifted. And now I can live in the truth, not my truth. The truth is a difference. So, um, love you guys. Keep kicking it with us in our dysfunction. 